So hi there, so I'm just going to talk about the um, space pod, chicken coin pod space thing that I made. Um, and I call it the chicken coin pod because it looks a bit like a coin in the background here. Um, basically it was taken from a book cover and I'll just get the book cover up here. And the book cover is an old retro book cover called The Moat in God's Eye um, by Larry Niven and Jerry Pornell. So here you can see the original spaceship from that book cover. And what I wanted to do in this exercise is to look into texturing and just get a bit more into honing my skills with um, ZBrush. So I thought to interpret this and make it into a 3D model. So here's the model. As you can see, I've improvised a bit. I've adapted it to sort of make it a bit more um, pleasing in, in my view um, to, to the original. Um, it's a great illustration. I actually don't know who the illustrator is. If I find it, I'll put him up here because obviously he needs to be, he or she needs to be um, recognized for that. And that's the final render there going on. Um, you can see these real scratch marks. This is just normal map. So that was done in um, ZBrush. So all the texturing here was done in ZBrush. Here I've got a trial of ZBrush for a few more weeks. And I thought it would be a good time. I used to have an old um, ZBrush version that I bought years ago. Um, and I decided to get back into it. Because it's so good for texturing and also detailing. Now I'm doing 3D a lot of 3D prints, then it's really good for act adding the extra detail where things like Max and Blender, it takes a lot longer to, to do on those ones. So here's the paint and I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to show you, you know, the dirt map. So this, I kind of thought of like a, a cold environment. So this white is almost like frost. Um, and it does look, to me, this, um, this final render looks a bit like, um, a cold environment like this spaceship is landing on a cold alien planet or somewhere up north like northern Canada or Iceland or Russia you know some sort of secret <laughs> alien base um, the markings were quite interesting to paint again I did them on the ZBrush um, and it was quite quite hard to do that uh, quite tricky I'm not the best texture artist in the world um, and also I'm not, I don't want to be because I just want to get to a point where I can use it in artwork. So for example, it could be about this size and then I'm going to do a big like abstract thing behind it with my overlays or whatever I want to do. Um, obviously making a thing for a computer game, it might need a bit more processing and, and detailing put in, but sometimes I stop when I'm happy to do so. <clears throat> and I also want to talk about how we can duplicate things to speed things up. So I got to a stage where I'd made this and it was very late at night. And I thought, oh no, what I'm going to put here because it looks a bit, it doesn't look very good like this. So all I did is duplicate the bottom, flipped it, and then that gave a simple solution there. So when you're making 3D models, don't always reinvent the wheel as it were use parts of the models again um, if it works okay then it it looks all right um, and as you can see the coin has got a little curve there like an alien symbol i really like the texturing here um, like in the book and the book cover it's very very alien it evokes a kind of really weird alien civilization like so and then these eyes I quite like and I quite like the fact that this one doesn't have this what I call an arm so in the book it's the same so this is the arm and it's a bit less chunky than my my model um, I wasn't really trying to create an exact copy I was just like jamming with it and I'm seeing where I wanted to take it you know <clears throat> so I guess that was basically rendered in max these 3d shapes sh not sheeps shapes were originally done in um, blender because 
I always try to keep good in Blender at 3ds Max and ZBrush because I teach a lot in Blender, a lot of classes at the Fab Labs and stuff, and makerspaces. So I try and keep good at Blender at all times. It's a bit like a sport or a language. You know, you lose it or use it. Sorry, you <laughs> you use it or lose it. Um, so there you go, and that's the final renders. And you can also see it on the Sketchfab program on the accompanying blog. And I'm going to give you the accompanying blog post to this link, the link to the <laughs> accompanying blog post below. So you can go to that. And if you feel like giving me a donation with Bitcoin, feel free. If you feel like you've learned a lot from this and the blog. And also I do do um, Skype or real life consultation and workshops to help you get what you want from your modeling and the tools you use and as I like to say it's the concept not the technicalities and once you know the concepts of one 3d program then you can easily go to others such as 3ds max to blender blender to zbrush and um, and let your imaginations go wild and remember check out my art site jamesaverlart.com for more my own artwork which i'm going to be including some of these spaceships that i'm making now and also you can buy my stuff there and also check out more videos on this youtube channel and you can subscribe to that so thanks so much for listening watching and understanding and if you've got any questions let me know and i'll speak to you later <laughs> bye for now